everybody. Welcome to the video. This is a live session that we're doing here on YouTube. We'll also have an archive of this because there's going to be a lot of stuff talked about in terms of recent developments and some of our mini lessons. So stay tuned. everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. I wanted to just touch base with a bunch of you out there. A few of you saw my beat up chops from last week and look, they're fine now. Uh, had a really hard day of playing Saturday, Friday and Saturday basically. I was getting ready for a performance and uh, kind of beat myself up. Uh, as a result of that, I did two mini lessons on Sunday with some pretty pretty beat up chops. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. And if you had questions about any of the recent mini lessons that we've put up, please share them here. Um, if you have um, a question about or a suggestion about a future mini lesson, post them here. Just say hi, whatever you'd like. But a couple big things that maybe because I'm a trumpet player and I'm a little bit foolish, I've done to help me in the past couple days, just a couple days. First thing is that I went back to my acrylic mouthpiece. This is uh, an acrylic top. I'm allergic to silver and gold. Silver and gold. Uh, and one big thing that happened is that I got very inflamed by playing silver mouthpiece. And I thought it was no big deal. When I play horns in the shop, it's not really a big deal. Even when I play a big band gig or a small group thing, it's not that much of an issue for the inflammation, but when I played a very hard job, like where we played pretty continuous for like two and a half hours, um, my lips had a ton of swelling. And then I woke up the next morning and it was not good. Uh, so if you have uh, any sort of inkling that you might have an allergic reaction to metal, here are some of the uh, true signs that I find. I feel when I play a metal mouthpiece, it's the same as like when you burn your tongue on a cup of coffee. That's what it feels like on my mouth, right up in the upper lip especially. So, but even though my lower lip also sw swelled up pretty, pretty big the past few days. So I grabbed the acrylic top and has been not a problem at all. So, hello UK and hello Ronaldo. Thanks for tuning in and thanks everybody for tuning in and your great support of ACB. I also, downsized my gear and I think that's partially due to the fact that I've lost some actual size in my face from uh, I've lost a few pounds I've been working out a little bit harder since moving to Kansas City but also um, just it's just a smart thing to, to go a little bit smaller so I'm actually back to my original mouthpiece shocker TA1 the TA1 is about a six diameter with a V cup I also went to this trumpet. This trumpet is the Adams A6. So if you know the A A6, it's a small board trumpet. It doesn't have to look as wild as this one, but uh, this is just one we've had in the shop uh, that was uh, my shop manager Kyle's old horn that I bought from him. Uh, this is an amazing trumpet, and I felt like the small bore really helped me a ton. Just um, so that that's just two big equipment things that I've worked on in the past you know, just a few days. Two other huge things that I'm doing is that I'm practicing breathing exercises, like forgotten how to breathe, I guess. So if you wanna like hit those, those are mostly from this great book from the late Sam Palafian, who just passed away, um, called The Breathing Gym, which is a fantastic book. But also um, uh, a lot of stuff from Arnold Jacobs. So. We could talk about that today. We could talk about the previous few mini lessons about uh, just recovery in general. Also, um, if you have specific questions, post them here on the comments. Hopefully I'll see them. There is a slight delay on this, but some things that I've been working on, just to recap from the, the mini lesson number 50, that's pretty cool. We have 50 mini lessons out there on YouTube. There's probably more because I can't really add because I'm a trumpet player. But uh, I know Franz Hockel, just briefly, we've met a couple times in New York. Um, but uh, just a few things that, uh, um, that I've been doing 
is the energized breath attack. You guys know the pew attack, P-I-U. There's actually an upcoming mini lesson that we'll be launching at the end of this week that will talk a lot more in depth about this. But if you know these attacks, these energized breath attacks, for instance, and I'm gonna turn off my talking mic and turn on my trumpet mic, um, just an energized breath attack. So I'll do a bunch of T articulations like T, 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 and then I'll do pew attacks. These are great for centering the embouchure and getting the center of the buzz going. So hold on, I'm gonna switch mics. And that's a poo attack, a pew, energized. And these are these are all pews. And those are all. Hold on, let me turn back on the talking mic. So those are all pew attacks. Those are all breath attacks, and especially with the upper register stuff, it helped me so much in the past two days just get back to feeling normal, which. What is normal as a trumpet player? Well, it certainly is not being in pain. And I, uh, if you look at those videos, like mini lesson 49 and 50, you can see my chops are very puffy and um, extremely taxed. I played, yesterday I had the day off from the shop. I probably played, I wanna say six, six hours, seven hours on the trumpet, six or seven. And I feel great today. So it was, it's all about just the perspective of like what you're doing in terms of energy how much air you're putting out, all these things. So if you have questions about that, post them here for sure. Um, I'll do a little bit more examples on that, so. Those are T's, T's. Those are all pew attacks. Those, even the ones I was doing on double high C, they were all pew attacks. Very aggressive and, and so, yes, I know that book, of course. So it's a good book, yes. Um, if you'd like to talk about something that I, I talk about, that'd be great, so. Um, but, uh, so that's some stuff that I've been doing the past few days. I don't use the wedge breath, no. Even though I studied with Bobby Shue. So many, many years ago, maybe 20 years ago, Bobby and I had a few lessons. But I, one thing I am doing now, um, just in the past, again, the past few days, is really taking a, a better inhalation. So if I do something like, like where I'm getting the air and I'm filling, I don't know if you can see, let me move this stand, uh, where I'm filling the air up a little bit less breathing from the top here and breathing a little bit more in the bottom. So it's not as intense as a, as a true wedge breath, but it's definitely a fuller breath. So I've also been doing a lot of um, lead pipe buzzing, very similar to the Adam routine. Um, I think I'll just keep the regular talking mic on for this so you'll be able to hear it. With those, I'm also gonna use the poo attack on the top. Just trying to be nice and centered and not forcing. Not forcing it out, but just letting it happen. So big, big little, big little discoveries. And that's the one thing I always wanna say is big little discovery, something that I just sort of stumbled on to again, to remind myself about how to play the trumpet better. I don't know if that makes sense. If you have questions, post them here. If you have questions about any of our mini lessons, because there's 50 now online, and this is actually gonna be an addition to that in case we talk about anything in, in particular here, please share them here on, on YouTube. Just all about getting the center of this to vibrate without forcing it, without having to push 
And there's just some other stuff I've been working on that's kind of cool with these poo attacks. Um, I've been working on trying to get my upper register to be a lot less strained. Literally, that's just me going. You can see there's very little effort going. Now, they're not really full, strong sounds, but they're the building blocks for what I'm going to be working on. So, so that's that. I mean, there's a bunch of the, those things that I've been trying to, to work on. Uh, bending the uh, past few days has been so good for me. Uh, I'm going to switch off the talking mic and play into the trumpet mic again. An example of a... Oh, yeah. Hey Jeremy, how you doing, man? An example of a breathing exercise I do is literally, so there's an, an exercise where you put your mouth, uh, put your hand against your mouth and suck on it before you inhale. And then you pull the, the hand straight out. So you make a little, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. It's kind of like a, a suction noise, but by doing that, you try to take a fuller breath and it's where you breathe. It's, you don't want the breath to be up here. You wanna hopefully get it a little bit down more into the center of your uh, stomach. And just think, I watch my dogs breathe. They breathe so beautifully. Um, we haven't corrupted their uh, breathing mechanisms. So one of the things that you can do is that suction exercise though. So literally you suck on your your wrist when you hold it up. And this is from the breathing gym, by the way. And you try to have the air rush in. Um, I'm also, I also bought a few tools uh, to, to work on this and especially with my, with my mouthpiece buzzing. So, cause I feel like my mouthpiece buzzing has been very lacking lately. Um, and, and it's been very weak. So I've been uh, really working on just a full, full um, relaxed buzz. And so I'm gonna buy, I bought a couple uh, incentive spirometers to do that with the, the breathing. I'll do, I'll do some follow-up lessons once I get them. Uh, I had a bunch of these and for some reason between the move, they might be somewhere in the shop, I have no idea. Um, so I'm gonna look for them again, hopefully I'll find them. But uh, great breathing and teaching tools because I think I've really neglected breathing and I'm, obviously I didn't neglect breathing because you, you're dead if you don't breathe, but in terms of the mechanics of breathing into playing. Um, so you see, these are all like little, some little sort of checkups from just keeping myself honest. Uh, and especially in terms of the overall endurance, because I didn't have much endurance on this job a few nights ago. So it's kind of a, it was kind of a rude awakening, but uh, let me uh, show you some some of this stuff that I'm I've been working on. Even this morning, I was working on. Hold on, I'm gonna switch mics again. Post your comments, post your questions in the comments. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer them. And thanks again for for watching. trying to expand those uh, those flow studies as well. Um, so that's a bit, I mean, that's really a, kind of the stuff that I've been working on. And uh, it's really helped me when I've gone to piccolo trumpet. Now, it's funny, this is the first year, maybe it's because I moved and maybe it's because I held out for too much money because that's who I am. But this first year I haven't actually, I don't have an Easter gig, which is fine. Um, but, 
Uh, so I haven't really been playing pick that much, so I decided to pull out the pick just to show people what I go through. And that's uh, Mini Lesson 49. If you haven't checked that one out, uh, I recommend checking it out. So, Questions, comments, yeah buts? I always like the yeah buts. That's great, but... Have some iced tea. Questions, comments, yeah, buts. Let me know what's going on in your world. What are you practicing? What are you working on? And if you have questions, especially that this session, sort of a, a sort of a recap of some stuff, but I also want to, in case you're just joining, I finally decided that I'm going to slow down with playing every piece of gear in my shop. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff. I've decided to go to one trumpet, and if people make fun of my trumpet, that's okay. I think it's pretty cool. This is an Adams A6. The A6 is a small bore trumpet. I feel like I needed extra resistance to help me play, and I've been going from, so I'm hurting your ears, sorry. So you could always press the mute button. So um, either way, you could uh, go from uh, like a real high resistant thing like this. This isn't actually that tight, even though it's a small bore, it's a good balance of resistance. And then also I went back to my mouthpiece. Uh, my primary mouthpiece, which is my TA-1, and that's an acrylic top. And the acrylic top has been really good for me because I'm allergic to silver. So, let me uh, pull out your comment. Sometimes I don't get to see... Um, see all the comments. So let me just see. Making melodies. Well, I, I'm making melodies while soloing. So uh, see if I can de delve into that. So, you know, Donald Smith, that's a great question. Actually, I started yesterday. I, I'm, it was one of these things, if you saw the most recent video, you see how beat up my chops are, but they're not beat up now. Yesterday I did maybe an hour and a half of long tones. So I was doing the expanding long tones. So, Um, and yeah, welcome to the trollers here. So, but, uh, uh, yeah, just got a little thing, uh, <laughs> you, you win for today. But, uh, one thing I wanted to do is work on expanding the feel of the long tones. So, um, a couple things I did with the Adam thing was definitely some of these lead pipe buzzings. Just trying to get it to be nice and relaxed without a lot of force. Even the top top notes. So I don't know what a fl I don't know what that is. Sorry, sorry, Alejandro. But uh, uh, let's see here. Hold on one second. But uh, yeah, so that's some stuff I've been working on, and then definitely doing the expanding long tones. If you know in the Adam book or. A, or I, you know, was fortunate. I studied with a couple of people who studied with Mr. Adam, uh, the expanding lawn tones. So hold on, I'm going to switch microphones again here. Anyways, I'm getting, yeah, there's lots of trollers today. So, welcome, trollers. 
but uh, just working on that and then going F sharp, going A flat, going F, going A, going E, and so on and so forth. So uh, Alejandro, if you're looking for an inexpensive flugelhorn, you can email the shop. Let me put the email address, hold on one second. I'll put my trumpet down.